Hey there, car buyers. Welcome back to the Homework Guy, your consumer-focused channel for everything car buying and the home of the only truly hassle-free car buying service. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on 10 common myths they're busted that dealerships hope you believe because, let's face it, the more you don't know, the more they get to profit. But that ends here today. Whether you're a first-time buyer or you've been around the block a few times buying a number of cars, we're going to arm you with the knowledge that can save you thousands on your next car purchase. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, known on YouTube for the last 15 years as the Homework Guy. In a moment, the amazing Elizabeth will be joining me. Stick with us as we bust 10 of the most common myths about car dealerships that could be costing you big time every time you buy a car. And make sure you watch until the end because we're also going to share three largely unknown truths about how dealerships really operate behind the scenes. These little known facts that could change the way you look at car buying forever. Welcome, Liz. Thanks, Kevin, and hello, friends. Are you ready to take the controls right back? Let's jump into it. First, we're starting with 10 commonly held myths car buyers believe about buying a car from a dealership. Myth number one, dealerships always offer the best financing deals. Many people think dealer financing is the best option, but banks or credit unions often have better rates. Always shop around before accepting dealer financing. What you may not have known is that the dealerships have a limited pool of lenders that they work with, and they are most often choosing lenders that provide the best incentives for the dealership, not necessarily the best rates for you. Definitely for the dealership. Yep. A dealer's favorite lenders are bankers who permit the most amount of fees and product packing in your car deal. Any normal banker not in bed with a car dealer would never want you to have all that junk in your car loan. When you shop for financing on your own, you can compare rates from a wider range of lenders and potentially find a better deal. Shopping for your own financing also lets you know what you qualify for ahead of car shopping. Myth number two, the sticker price is non-negotiable. <laughs> BS. Yep. The MSRP or sticker price is rarely the final price you need to pay. It's often just a starting point for negotiations, and you can often negotiate a lower price. Historically, car dealerships always set the sticker price much higher than the actual price they are willing to pay. That's true on new or used. They anticipate negotiations as part of the car buying process, always leaving room for bargaining. In fact, dealerships often have various margins, rebates, and incentives built into the price, allowing for your negotiation. Also, never forget, car prices are affected by supply and demand. If a particular model is in high demand and low supply, you may see less flexibility in the price. However, for models that are overstocked or slower to sell, dealerships are often willing to negotiate the price down to make a sale, especially if competing dealerships have better offers. In summary, never forget to negotiate the price. Myth number three, buying at the end of the month always guarantees the best deal. The key word here is always. This one has been generally true most of the time, but there are times that it's not true as well. You see, while the end of the month sales quota can sometimes lead to better deals, dealerships often have various incentives throughout the year, not just at the month's end. Dealers do indeed have sales targets and incentives, but they vary with timing. While many dealerships do have monthly sales targets, they also operate on quarterly, annual, or even promotional cycles. The best deals might coincide with these larger milestones like the end of the quarter and end of the year rather than just the end of the month. Also, if a dealership has hit their monthly sales quota early and it's already in the bag, they may not have the same kind of urgency as another dealer to discount cars heavily at the month's end. This is something you'll have to hope that you have good timing on. Myth number four, buying a car in cash will get you a better deal. That's a huge Not anymore. Myth. Some dealerships prefer financing because they make money off the loan. Subsequently, paying in cash might limit your leverage in negotiating the car price. We've been saying that for a long time, that dealerships often make a significant profit by arranging financing for car buyers through in-house lenders, earning a commission or markup on the interest rate. When you pay cash, they miss out on this extra revenue stream. Because of this, they may be less inclined to lower the car's price for a cash buyer since financing is a very lucrative part of their business model. This was a major contributing reason why we published Don't Say I'm Paying Cash a few years ago. It got millions of views because a lot of confused cash buyers still thought cash was king. That's right. Myth number five, you get the best deal by focusing only on the monthly payment. 
We've been hitting on this one for a very, very long time. You should never focus on the monthly payment with the hope that it gets you a better deal. Salespeople often use low monthly payments to sell a car, which significantly masks a longer loan term and higher overall cost or interest. We've always said it's important to focus on the total price of the car, not just the monthly payments. Also, you should know that when you focus on getting a low monthly payment through a longer loan term, there's a greater risk of being upside down financially on the loan, meaning you'll owe more than the car's actual value because the car will depreciate faster than you can pay off the principal. This can make it difficult to trade in or sell the car without taking a big loss. Myth number six, certified pre-owned CPO cars are like new cars. Yeah, no. BS. While CPO cars have been inspected and come with warranties, they are still just used cars and can have wear and tear. They're often priced higher than standard used cars without necessarily offering a like new condition. And by the way, that's just a used car with an extended warranty. Yep, nothing special. Myth number seven, you must buy extended warranties or add-ons. You've heard of a flagrant foul in the NBA or a huge penalty in football for unnecessary roughness. Telling a customer that the bank wants you to have a given product, like an extended warranty or some other package, is about as flagrant as it gets in car dealerships. But that doesn't stop dealerships from pushing extended warranties or additional add-ons as essential, but they definitely aren't necessary or wanted by the bank, and they definitely aren't the best value. If there's any product a dealer sells that you think you might want, you can always find these options outside the dealership for far less money. Myth number eight, one of my favorites, trading in your old car gets you the best value. (laughs) Who hasn't heard the tired old argument from a car dealer that you're making so much money on your trade-in? While trading in at the time of your car purchase is convenient, dealerships often give you quite a lot less than the car's actual value. And then they say, Well, look how much you're saving in taxes, as if they make up for the lowball number. When a dealership takes your car as a trade-in, they plan to resell it either on their lot or later at an auction. To make a profit, they often offer you far less than what is the wholesale market value of the car, what they would pay for that car at an auction, typically well below that and well below what you could get selling it privately. This means you are likely accepting a lower price in exchange for the convenience of the trade-in process Selling your car privately will always result in a much higher end price. Myth number nine, dealers have the final word on pricing and financing. Buyers often believe that what the dealer offers is set in stone, but you can negotiate both the price and financing terms and walk away if you don't like the deal. The truth is, buyers are in the driver's seat when it comes to negotiating the vehicle's price, trade and value, interest rate, and any additional fees, unless the dealer defines himself as a no-haggle dealership. A dealer always expects negotiation being a part of the process, and there's typically always room to move on the various aspects of the deal. Myth number 10, dealership maintenance is a requirement to keep your warranty. Many believe they need to service their car only at the dealership to keep the warranty intact, but in many cases, you can go to any reputable service center and still maintain your warranty. In fact, requiring dealer service for a new vehicle is a violation of law. Under the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, a federal law in the U.S., car manufacturers cannot require that maintenance or repairs be performed specifically at a dealership to keep the warranty valid. As long as the maintenance is done properly and according to the manufacturer's recommendations, that's all that matters. In fact, you can have the work done at an independent repair shop or even do it yourself without voiding the warranty. Just make sure you keep records and receipts that the work was actually done. Mm -hmm. You do, however, have to use equivalents of the specified parts and fluids. The law says that the warranty remains valid as long as the parts and fluids used meet manufacturer's specifications. This means that you are not obligated to use genuine manufacturer-branded OEM parts or fluids as long as the equipments, as long as the equivalents are up to the required standard. A reputable independent mechanic can provide the same level of service as a dealership, often better and often at a much lower cost. In summary, being informed and doing your research can help you navigate these common misconceptions and make a better deal when buying a car. You should know that our hassle-free car buying service helps you avoid all of this nonsense. Read about it on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Now moving on to the three largely unknown truths about car dealerships. Truth number one, dealerships make significant profits from financing and add-ons, not just car sales. Yep. This simple truth is the number one reason why 
we have said, don't say I'm paying cash to start out your car shopping experience at a dealership. Many car buyers wrongly assume that dealerships make the majority of their money from selling cars, but in reality, a significant portion of their profit comes from financing those cars and selling you add-ons. Yep. To make money on financing, dealerships often mark up the interest rate on the loans they arrange through those in-house lenders, allowing them to earn additional profit on financing deals. In a similar fashion, they make money by selling extended warranties, service contracts, gap insurance, and accessories, always at grossly inflated prices. This is why salespeople are trained to push those extras as they are more lucrative than the actual sale of the car. That's right. Truth number two, the price paid for any car can vary significantly from buyer to buyer. Makes a big difference who you are. Mm -hmm. Car prices at a dealership aren't fixed prices like they are in a retail store. Two buyers can walk into the same dealership looking at the same car and end up paying very different prices. Factors like how well you negotiate, your trade-in, financing options, and whether you know about available rebates or incentives can all affect the final price you pay. Salespeople may tailor their offers based on their perception of how knowledgeable or determined you are as a buyer, meaning that the sharper you are and the more prepared you are is very likely to net you a better deal. On the other hand, the uninformed or less assertive buyers may end up paying significantly more for the exact same vehicle. So being clueless does cost you. Mm -hmm. Truth number three, dealerships can still profit from losing on a deal. Even when a dealership sells a car below the sticker price, they can still make money or even below invoice. They can often yep. receive manufacturer incentives, hold back payments, or volume bonuses based on how many cars they sell. Those back-end profits mean that a dealership could be willing to sell a car for less than it seems that they should on paper because they know they'll make money on these additional sources. So when you feel like you're getting a great deal or the dealer says they're actually losing money on the sale, while it's a possibility they could be losing on your specific sale, they are still likely to be coming out ahead financially. Yep. As I have stated in previous shows, our hassle-free car buying service is the only car buying service that saves you the hassle of going it alone with a dealer finance officer. We never turn you loose on a finance man. Never. You should know that when you use our hassle-free car buying service to buy a car, either Kevin or I will personally take every intake call. You get to talk directly with us, and we are the only show hosts that offer this level of personalized service on YouTube. What's really different about our car buying service compared to others is that we are truly a customer-focused service provider. We are not trying to recruit dealers to a referral network like others are doing, and I think you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, that's right. We never want to be anything like a Costco auto program with a dealer referral network because those things always fail. Thanks to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. And if you want our direct help in your car deal, text Liz today at 701-441-3399. In closing, I want to take a moment to talk to those of you who just want to get the most out of your current or future vehicle. You want your car to last as long as possible so you don't have to buy another one. Yes. Well, that's super cool with us. You can learn what's a good, reliable, new, or used car to buy in the first place. Or you can get advice on best maintenance practices for your vehicle you own now. To do all of that, we have an in-house automotive expert on board with us. He is exceptionally talented and will help you get the most out of your current or future car. His name is Alex Stevens. He's a former race team mechanic who has built a ton of different cars from the ground up. He has numerous automotive connections and knows so many great people in the mechanical field. He can get to the bottom of any mechanical problem car related. If you've been having an ongoing problem with your current vehicle, you should talk to Alex. You'll be amazed at what he knows about your car without even seeing it. To read up about Alex, just go to our website and click on the pull-down menu and find Ask the Auto Expert. Alex Stevens is available at a low introductory price, just $75 for the call, and he's beyond knowledgeable and talented. As we mentioned before, Alex has been joining Kevin to give his take on cars to avoid and why, and if you own one of those bad cars, how to care for it so it doesn't leave you stranded. If you buy the $75 phone call with Alex, I promise you'll be delighted to talk to him. Either Kevin or I will connect you with Alex. To all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, home of the only totally hassle-free car buying service, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the entire hassle-free homework guy team. Thanks for listening.